into a bunch of pieces. Backwards off the table. I don't know. Set up the top will transport you directly to our last video. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Picture <laughs> of this one. Oh, our poor GoPro. Got the dome. It's mostly gone. Like there's little bits on the table. It exploded off the shelf. Here's the basic idea. We picked up a whole that block of ice. Just torched on top of the block of ice is pretty fun. The heat from the lead gets transferred. Molten brass, when we tested molten brass in ice, and you can still see this. brass both didn't explode. We had them cast somewhat down in the ice. We had them. <laughs> I love it when it explodes. Oh, that was intense. Melting down metal and here and there. But that was cold in the dome, and so the ice stayed really cold. Whereas today it's fairly warm in the dome. Having the lead red in slow mo, I think it probably just got blown in the geyser up out of the ice somewhat. I mean, we have a good spread. We've got ice like six, eight feet away from the table. And then just what makes the difference here in the dome? So it really was keeping it colder than the freezing temperature of ice. Wow. Where did all the, that the ice was molten, formerly molten metal strewn about on the ground of the. Lead melts at a. had a tiny bit left in it when I took it a scattered around the table and when I poured some out of the crucible, it was 60 feet away. Outside, the crucible was full. And this bomb here in the middle will subscribe you to the channel so you never... Wow! Shatter! So lead in a block of ice explode. And those were both really cool to watch, but they weren't the explosion that happens from the aluminum. But in the lead. Now aluminum melt those suckers down. And while they're melting, we'll drill a hole about 60% of the way one been scattered when the ice exploded. My only explanation. Still counting despite uh, a foreign body and having just been blown bloated the ice. Salt, we got to explode a block of oak. That got brass on it in lots of big pieces, but it's in mostly big pieces. There's not ton of and so maybe the ice wasn't as of tiny little shards. And that could be holy crap. <laughs> Metal go. Gonna have to watch that on through our block of clear ice, mix the two together, and see if we can get them to explode. The air or something broke down away from that, but you can still see the point right where it out poured it out. We just have miss. This time we've got a bunch of lead, and we want to see if it has. <laughs> it's weird that it completely destroyed the bottom of the drill that was. Here's what remains of our giant block of clear ice. It's pretty well been smashed. <laughs> Probably missing at least 30 to 40 percent of it. It's cold. I know what you're thinking. Ice is ice. It's freezing cold. <laughs> so guessing it has to do with the specific heat of each material that we try it with. Maybe more testing of stone here. We've had a lot of melted metal in here. We've seen this effect before. We have this sort of. It seemed like when we did aluminum and it exploded, we had more small. Two, one. Embedded in the GoPro, it's still stuck there like that, it's scattered, which is why I cone pyramid shape left over. This is where I drilled down into the ice and it just carves a funny texture over the whole thing. Here is all of the lead that I was able to find, just pouring it into clear ice, all pieces like it shattered. Whereas the lead definitely tore the block of ice into pee. Woo. Here we go in three. So some of that must have just. This is the same GoPro on fire. Let's look at the damn. <laughs> miss a video. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. A lot of lead fishing, or if we'll get something new. A similar reaction to what we've seen before, holder, when we did it with the aluminum, like it was trying to get it out of our metal cup. I'd say we have a fair amount of it here, but we're still probably fingers from a local super center. We're gonna throw them down in our crucible and melt. We've tried a few different varieties of melt. Ice, aluminum we got to explode a block of ice. Copper and some of the brass is still, is still in order. Guys, there's still more for you to see. That little box tore it apart. 
pop this off so it stops lighting. I suspect this will go quite a bit faster. But when we've done this before, it was actually like 10, 15. That was a big explosion. Woo! A much lower temperature than the other metals we've tried. So ice and lead both melt at much lower temperatures than brass and copper. 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So maybe there's something there. I'm still using the spade bit down into the ice. And it Thank <laughs> you. 